Okay, so we're going to integrate e to the power of cos uh, e to the power of sine x times cosine x dx. So integration by parts is a possibility, but be a bit messy. Better off using a u sub because it looks like we've got sine x and cosine x. So sine and cosine always go well together when looking for one to cancel out. So as we've got the sine x to the power of the exponential, let's do u equals sine x. Now we take the derivative on both sides. So the derivative of u is du. Derivative of sine x, cosine x. Okay, now let's get dx on its own. So dx equals du over cosine x. Okay, so this is all the information we need now to transform this into the u world. So first step, e stays sine of x, that's u, so e to the power of u. Cosine x, just allow me to leave that in for now. I know it's not invited into the u world, but you'll see when we put the dx in, good things are going to happen. So dx is du over cosine x. And as we said, cosine x, the two cancel out. And now we're left simplified e to the u du, which we can integrate straight away. So the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. Okay, now the original question was in the x world. So we need to now go back to the x world. u equals sine of x. So it's e to the sine of x plus c. That's your answer.